Hi. Well, hey there, little Carmen. You got some sauce? Miss Loretta, I've got some sauce. Spill. I heard that you were running for mayor. Well, that news sure got around fast. And who did you hear it from? I heard it from my friend Billy's mom's sister's best friend. <gasps> you mean Nellie? Yup. What did she say? She ain't gonna vote for me? No, I don't want that candy. That's for old people. Oh, well, is she gonna vote for me? Nellie said that the pickings were slim for the mayor race. What else she say? She said, one is a gossip, one can't cut bologna right without shredding it, and one can't keep a secret. Wait a minute, which one am I? Well, you're good at keeping my secrets. Thank you, little Carmen. Am I the gossip? But she did say that if she has to vote for one of you, it would definitely be you. Well, that's good, I guess. I need to start working on my campaign. I need a good campaign slogan. Vote for Miss Loretta because she has all the sauce. Eh, needs a little work. What should my campaign slogan be? I need some help. Welcome to Curls, 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 ladies. Hi, Samantha. We just came to talk to you about that little incident that happened at Bible school between little Carmen and Charlie. Yes, I was meaning to talk to you both about that. I'm so sorry that happened. I was just thinking that maybe we could get the two girls together so they could talk it out and maybe become friends again. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Because Charlie's scared of little Carmen. She said she doesn't want to be around her because she's always bullying her. Excuse me? Your daughter's the one who is always bullying little Carmen. Carmen punched Charlie in the face. I think we know who the bully is. Little Carmen said that Charlie was the one who started it and was making fun of her because she's got two moms. Well, she does have two moms, but she said it was weird. <laughs> now listen here, Samantha. You tell your daughter to stay away from our daughter. Gladly. And if she makes fun of her again, little Carmen has my permission to pop her right in the mouth. Is that how you raise your daughter? To act like a beast? How dare you call her a beast? Now hold on. I didn't mean she was a beast. Then what did you mean? Now listen. I really don't think the girls should talk, play, or be friends. And why not? With all the drama that y'all got going on with Junior switching little Carmen at birth, your two husbands, and your constant trolloping, it's probably best that they remain not friends. You're so right, Samantha. They shouldn't be friends. And come to think of it, I haven't been trolloping lately. Tell your husband Johnny I said hi. As a matter of fact, tell him I said hi too. Let's go, Caroline. Sherry, remember when Johnny and I used to date in high school? Oh, I remember. Weren't you the love of his life? Mm-hmm, I sure was. <laughs> Miss Linda Sue, I haven't seen you in forever. Hi, little Carmen. How have you been? Oh, I'm really good. What are you doing at my grandma's house? Uh, I I'm helping to take care of your daddy. That's so nice of you. Little Carmen, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you not tell your mama and my sister Sherry that you saw me here? You want me to lie? No, not a lie. Just don't bring it up, okay? Why not? Well, I haven't seen Sherry in a long time. And I want to surprise her when I see her. Oh, I love surprises. Me too. So don't spoil it, okay? You got it. My lips are sealed. How's your Aunt Sherry been lately? You know that Aunt Sherry's really my mom, right? And that my dad... He switched me at birth. Oh yeah, I heard something about that. Yep, now I've got two mommies and two daddies. And Mr. Rick, he's my real daddy. How do you feel about all that? I love all four of my parents, but some kids at school, they're making fun of me because they're saying my life is so weird. Don't worry about them little kids. Sometimes they just say mean things because they're jealous. Yeah, but it still hurts my feelings. Everything's gonna be all right because you have lots of people who love you. Thanks, Miss Linda Sue. Well, I gotta go now. I'm gonna go to the skating rink with my best friend, Billy. Okay, have fun. And remember, don't say anything to anyone that you saw me here. Don't ruin the surprise. Bye. If Sherry finds out that I'm helping Junior, she's gonna hate me. Hey there, little Carmen. What are you up to today? I went to visit my daddy. Your daddy junior or your daddy Rick? My daddy junior. Well, how's he doing? Good. He says he misses living at home with me, my mommy, and Mikey. I'm sorry. Do you miss him? Is he lonely? Yeah. He's got really good company with him. He's got Miss Lin... 
wait, wait, what? Um, he's got, uh, uh, I can't tell. Okay. No, I really can't. So, who was at your daddy's house when you went to visit him? Miss Linda Sue? <gasps> yes! Miss Loretta, I'm not supposed to say anything. Why not? Because Miss Linda Sue asked me to keep it a secret. And why does she want you to keep it a secret? She said because she doesn't want my mommy Sherry to find out. She said that she wants to surprise her. Did uh, Miss Linda Sue happen to say why she's been so far away for so long? No, but don't tell my mom, okay? I told Miss Linda Sue that I would not ruin the surprise. Okay, little Carmen, I won't say a thing. Mum's the word. <laughs> well, I gotta go. I gotta go see my best friend, Billy. Hey. Why doesn't Linda Sue want Sherry to know that she's in town? And why is she visiting Junior? Want more small town drama? Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button.